Are you planning a literature review or a systematic review? Then one of the first things you need to think about are your search terms. And this video is about that. So one of the most important things to realize about your search terms is that finding your right search terms is an iterative process. So you need to go and refine your initial choice of search terms repeatedly. And this may actually take quite a bit of time and effort, but it is super essential to get it right. Because a lot rides on getting this right, because if you miss a body of the literature by your choice of search terms, this of course means you have an incomplete view of what's already been done. So you start with a paper that you already found or with a keyword that you already have in mind and you search for that or read that paper. And when you read that paper, that first couple of papers maybe that you found that are relevant for your topic, then write down all the words that they use to describe their research and make that your first list and your first version of the search terms. And then what you do is you go back and forth in the citation history of this paper. So you look at all the papers that this paper cites that are relevant and you look at all the papers that cite this paper. This is relatively easy to do in a lot of different search engines like Web of Knowledge or also Google Scholar. And so thereby you create sort of a network of citations. There are also some apps that do this in a semi-automated fashion for you, but it's important that you basically create a genealogy of all the different papers that are in this citation linkage network. And then what you do is you check what words do these papers use. And if they use a different word or different variation on that word, like hyphenated or plural or whatever, then you add that to your list of search terms and you repeat your search. And now you repeat this process um, until you no longer find any new search terms and you no longer get any new hits. And then you're at the point where you can be fairly confident that you have uh, collected the right search terms. Now, a mistake that I see beginners make very frequently is that they are very concerned about the search results being precise. In other words, that they only or overwhelmingly return relevant hits. This is not the most important thing. The most important thing is that your search is as complete as it can be. In other words, so that it catches all the relevant papers. Now, you will always have irrelevant bycatch, if, if you will, from the search terms that you use. And of course, it is highly desirable to keep that bycatch at a minimum. So the papers that you get as hits that are not relevant. And you do that though by excluding certain cases or keywords or subject areas or phrases and search terms. But that always comes at the risk of accidentally also including some search terms that actually give you hits. In other words, that leads to excluding relevant papers. And that is not worth it. So it's much more important to get a complete result than a highly precise result in terms of giving you only relevant hits. Now, of course, if you have a lot of irrelevant bycatch in your search, just a ton of papers that are not relevant at all, it will, depending on the volume of your search results, become extremely tedious to borderline impossible to work further with that kind of data set. So you will be forced to narrow down the search by excluding certain keywords and combinations or also by excluding certain subject areas or maybe even authors or journals. As I said, that comes with a risk of excluding also pertinent papers. And one way to test if that happens is you designate certain papers, certain key papers as benchmark papers in your search that are highly relevant and highly important that you cannot under any circumstances lose. And then you check if making this modification to your search term where you exclude certain keywords, subject areas or whatever, and make sure that these benchmark papers are still included in your search results. This is how you make sure that you're not overcorrecting basically for the sake of getting more precise search results. So overall, this was of course just the cartoonish overview of what's uh, involved. I think overall, I think the most important thing you can get out of this video is that this is not very easy. It takes time and it is an iterative process. It simply does not happen that you sit down at your desk and you write down a bunch of words that come to your mind that are relevant for that particular subject area and you're done. This never happens. 
Sometimes this takes many weeks or even months to get the search terms right, depending on the complexity of your search and also depending on whether what you're searching for is sufficiently circumscribed by some generally accepted keywords, such as like competition or facilitation, for example. But if it's something slightly more abstract or slightly less well reflected in the easily recognized technical terms, like it describes a certain circumstance, for example, something happens before something else happens. If you think about this alone, there is a whole lot of different ways you can express that with language and there's no generally accepted technical term for that particular um, case that you would be interested in. And then it becomes very, very important that you search comprehensively and that you really think through your search terms. So plan for this, plan for the time it takes, get it right, put the right amount of effort in it. You will thank yourself for that later. And with that, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and what your experiences are with search terms in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye.